Excuse me, I am so sorry to interrupt. Not at all. What is it, darling? Do you mind if I take a seat? Of course not. Please, go ahead. Thank you so much. She has a cat mask. I have been looking all over for my husband, but I cannot find him. I am quite certain that we were supposed to meet here, yet nobody I speak to seems to have seen him. And what does your husband look like, Mrs. Winterburn? Valerie Winterburn. My husband is Henry Winterburn. Surely you must know him from the papers. Is he such a star? Not that it would matter here. But I am confident that if he were around, I would have recognized him already. Meow, meow. Do you remember when you last saw him? Of course, it was... Mm, this is embarrassing, but I... I am not quite so sure right now. It's all right, dearie. What do you remember then? Don't be so curious, old skeleton. It was raining. The slow vanishing of Lady Winterburn. I hope she is called Winterburn and not Winterborn. Such a big bed, all in grey, alone for her, in her night dress. Pretty style. That's the bed. Have I been sleeping? It's dark. Glass decanter with laudanum. We know laudanum from amnesia. My medicine keeps the nightmares at bay, but there's not much left. No, she doesn't want to see herself in the mirror, although she is so pretty. A lamp. No light, it hurts. These are for tomorrow. Is it tomorrow yet? If I close my eyes, I can almost hear... Let's have a look at the pictures. Did there used to be faces here? Shh, quiet now. How long has it been raining? What day is this? <coughs> Soon 
I will catch a cold. How long has it been raining? What day is this? She asks a second time. Did I oversee something? Have I been sleeping? It's dark. Okay, this doesn't change. A glass decanter, a lamp. Grape cloth. What day is this? A very rainy day. Can I go out outside? But it is yesterday. I cannot go outside when it is yesterday. Oh, very complicated. There's something new, a light blue thing. It's ball of yarn. Oh, it's Lord Sock's ball of yarn. He always brings it with him when he sneaks in at bedtime, but where is he? Maybe he got caught outside in the rain. It's hard to see anything from here. I guess Lord Socks is the family cat. Something new at the window? I can't see anything. Maybe the servants have seen him. Can I go to the hallway now? It is probably chilly out in the hallway. I should cover up just in case. What was I doing? I think I forgot. I am just tired. I haven't slept well. Yes, I just need a bit more rest. A short nap will do me good, no doubt. But first, my medicine. The demon called Laudanum. There's so little left. Why hasn't the maid replenished it yet? What was that? A letter? An envelope from the skeleton lady? No, it's too early, I think. A letter from Lord Cavendish? 
what could he possibly want? Hmm. Sorry for your loss. My most sincere condolences. What? Is this a joke? Has my husband seen this? Did the maid bring this? Where is she? Away with this junk. What's that? A book. Some moldy old book. A vase made of porcelain. A dusty vase. This ornate glass. A wine glass. The housemaid should be here. In her chambers. Is she alone in this room? What is this? I hear voices. She's not alone. I think there's a man in there with her. Who, her husband? The door is too thick. I can't make out what they are saying. Hmm. What shall we do? The door is heavy. Mm -hmm. A book, a vase and theirs. Let's try this special glass. The door itself is probably too thick, but maybe Perfect. Not since the conservatory incident. What about her laudanum consumption? Has it decreased at all? No, but she mustn't have much left. I haven't refilled her decanter in several days. And I've hidden the rest in the cabinet downstairs. Good. And this cabinet is locked? It is. The glass is thick and the lock strong. It is vital that she doesn't find the key. She needs to regain her composure and her health. More letters are arriving. And rumors abound. Ah! The display cabinet in the parlor! How dare they keep the key from me? F. I should burst into that room right now. But I will deal with that tomorrow. I think I will have my medicine now. Thank you.
Colors of happiness and positive thinking. Sleep is for the sick and the feeble. My favorite bedside book, Prost's A la recherche du temps perdu. As soon as I Read two pages, I start dozing off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What shall I do today? I could play my harp for a bit. And maybe afterwards tea in the conservatory with a good book. Full of new plans. How long will it last? Let's play the harp. Doom, double de doom, double de doom. That's enough. The most wistful of melodies, Monsieur Satie was a true master of melancholy. But right now, I am in the mood for something more cheerful. Now we can see more when we have a look at the pictures, some family pictures. These three over here are my favorites. Maman and I in Paris, February 1923. Maman and I in Vienna, April 1926. Maman and I in New York, October 1925. I remember I found some great records for my gramophone on these trips. Listening to them always brings back the most delightful memories. The ball of yarn is still here. There is cat hair all over the carpet, as per usual. Ah. We don't mind because we love this cute cat. that is named after a pair of socks. Can I go downstairs now? There are two beautiful paintings. Grandma Winterburn, I knew her in the last years of her life, a remarkable woman. Grandpa Winterburn, I never met him. And from what I know, all for the better. I reckon he was old-fashioned when it came to crossing class boundaries.
what I feel dizzy. Why was I going downstairs anyway? I am not sure now. Was I not going back to my room? Should I go back? I don't know what's wrong. I feel so weak. Oh. She starts. To become. A ghost. We can see a bit more through her. When will she vanish completely? I think the story has just begun. What shall we do now? Go to bed? The poor girl. Again, a letter. Just pick it up. Thank you. Lord Windsor now? What is this? Deepest condolences again. But there's more. I am aware of the dire situation of the Winterburn family. Rumors about that precious Ming vase, one of the few pieces not yet sold, surviving on your fortune alone. I believe that our union would be nothing but mutually beneficial. This is outrageous. What is this all about? I must find the housemaid. I demand an explanation. Besides, she has the key to the cabinet. Here is the vase. Is this the vase he was talking about? Yes, it is. Destroy it. I wonder if a thousand tiny pieces will be as valuable as a whole vase. Do it! You can do it! Yes. I hope you feel better now.
Now we'll try again to go downstairs. Wow! So much to explore. All in grey. Let's start here. A faint ticking. Maybe it's a clock. A bookshelf. She likes reading. Books and more books. Here's one and another. The Prophet's Paradise. Poetry. What good has it ever done? A treaty on clocks. The unbearable jargon of the clockmaker. Without fear of wind and vertigo. I don't recognize this title. Where did this come from? When did this come from? There's the cabinet. My medicine should be in the cabinet. There it is, hidden at the back among the glasses. But I don't have the key and I have no idea where the maid is. Well, I'll smash the bloody thing open if I need to. But with what? An armchair? Rest. Maybe later. Okay, an armchair would be too heavy. A fireplace? Can we find something there? Only ash. This is not the fire I seek. No. Ah, fireplace pokers. Show me your poker face. Hmm. Yes, this will work. Smash it in. You walk around more and more like a psycho. Wow! Flowers. The smell of fresh flowers in the morning is one of life's subtlest pleasures. Can I read the books now? Now she is in a good mood. There are some interesting books here. The Prophet's Paradise. Let's try it again. Far afield a woman cried. I have killed him, I laughed. 
and from the jar she poured blood upon the flowers, whose petals are whiter than snow and whose hearts are pure gold. What is this? What is this book doing here? A treaty on clocks. One of those awfully boring technical books that Henry's dad liked to keep around. Let's read it. Striking as they might look, decorative clocks, such as those embedded within busts or statues, lack precision and reliability. This must be science. Such models exhibit an average delay of seven minutes when referenced against a classic long case clock. This is, of course, unacceptable. Well, of course, unacceptable. Without fear of wind and vertigo. And so you see, this novel so tightly interwoven with sensations suddenly riven by bottomless chasms as if the claim to portray vital fullness revealed the void beneath. Hmm, I am not familiar with this author, Italian sounds very modern. Maybe the author is Carlo. <laughs> a record player. Is it a gramophone? My gramophone. I have so many memories attached to all these records. Especially the ones I brought back from my trips abroad with Maman. Hmm, let's have a look at it. Which one shall I play first? We should remember the most interesting trips she made with her mom. They went to Vienna, to Paris and to New York. The first city they went to was let's guess it was to France Harigi Okara by Giuseppe Verdi Isn't it too dreamy? No, it's all right. What should I play after this? After Paris, there comes New York. It's my New York. 
by Mal Hallett and his orchestra. Ah, scandalous! And the third one is Three Old Viennese Dances by Fritz Keisler. Zwirbelspitz and I are Austrians, but we don't know Fritz Keisler. I'm not sure whether he ever existed. Let's dance a triple dance by Fritz Keisler. What is this? It's so... What on earth was that? Should I go back to the first floor, but why? To get into grey again? We will see what happens when we go back to our room. Ball of yarn. I haven't seen Lord Socks in a while. He disappeared. Like her husband. And maybe the cat is as dead as her husband. I am in fact feeling a bit indisposed. But something is not right here. My harp! Who did this? The shadow, it's... No, it's wrong! Ugh. I have to relax, yes. the next envelope. Okay, get up. Pick it up, please. Thank you. I need my medicine. So let's go down. The long way down.
to save ourselves from depression. Such a long way for this shitty medicine. It makes you dependent, addicted. Ah, it's still here. In the end, this will kill you. Where did this come from? It is a letter from Lord Fitzroy. He is a friend of Henry's, if I remember correctly. Hope this letter finds you well. Wish to offer my most profound condolences. What? So daring as to propose an arrangement for our mutual benefit. I dream of holding your hand. Yes, a man can dream. Oh, to walk with you in the lushness of your beautiful conservatory. Is this a marriage proposal? Is this real or did somebody put opium tincture in my morning tea? You didn't have morning tea. This has to be a prank. Nobody in the right mind would dare send something like this. I must find the housemaid, provided this isn't some lark of hers. She should know who delivered this. I recall I heard her earlier in the foyer. We haven't been there yet. Foyer, it's here. It doesn't look like the maid is here. But I heard voices. It seems to be stopped. The hands are stuck at three o'clock. Hmm, maybe I can use that key to wind it. What about? This ghost. Clock key. Hmm. So wind it up. Let's see if this works. Ah. Uh. It is too tall. I cannot reach the winding hole. Three o'clock it is, then. Let's read the newspaper. Oh, it's the issue of Paris Soir that featured our wedding. Everybody made such a thing out of it. Many were shocked today upon learning of the engagement of the extravagant heiress of the Beauvoisie Jewelry Empire. 
Mademoiselle Valerie Beauvoisie to Henry Winterburn, Lord Winterburn of Shetham Green. In a move seen as uncharacteristic for the socialite whose friendships with avant-garde artists such as Germain Dulac or Fernand Léger are well known. She declared her intention to move to the family manor in Wiltshire, England, leaving behind a life of glamour in Paris for Britain's green pastures. Despite the loud rumors regarding the ruinous financial situation of the Winterburn family, the heiress insists that this is a marriage of love. And that moving to the calm of the countryside will be a welcome change for her after the frantic activity of the last few years. Oh, I do love it here so much. We have to set the table clock now, so that time goes on and we can continue. The winding key from the standing clock should fit here. Perfect, I can wind the clock now. What time shall I set? The book said something about seven minutes. And the other clock shows three o'clock. So, this clock must be set at 2, 53. It is working again. The mechanism is ticking and the hands are moving. Beautiful! And is that the grandfather clock? Is it working too now? The clock is working again, just like I. I am not sure now. When was that? I was here browsing the afternoon papers. Lord Sox rushed in. The clock chimed. He ran into the conservatory. What had the little rascal done? I cannot remember. Oh, no matter. It will come back to me. Now, about that Lord Fitzroy. There must be somebody in this house who can tell me 
What is going on? Can I go to the conservatory? That's a new area. Oh, beautiful. Plants, white flowers. Tea table and chairs. Flower pot, flower pot, flower pot, flower pots. A pond, a bench. Ivy. It comes all back to her. Did I see something move there? Let's look. No, not quite here, but there is a rustling of leaves somewhere. It could be the bushes or the shrubbery. Is she looking for Lord Socks over there? There was something here stirring the leaves and suddenly a blur, a chase, the clinking sound of porcelain. Porcelain could be here, tea table and chairs. Yes. Here, a scream of pain, red streaks, then knuckles white like snow, hands so cold, so cold. Cold hands. Where could they have been? The pond? Oh dear, no! The water is no longer screaming. Then where is this sadness coming from? Let's rest on the bench. It's the last place we can click on. So this must be the solution and the end of the circle. Where is Lord Socks? It is stronger here. What is this sorrow? Why do I feel this way? This place is always so soothing to me. 
but those sensations, they were so vivid and unsettling. And the water? I could have sworn I felt. Wait, what is that? Seems there is something at the bottom of the pond. But I am not reaching into that filthy water with my bare hands. I need to find something to help me drag it out. It is load socks. And not her husband who drowned. Umbrella stand. I haven't realized that this should work. Let's fish it out. Your dearest pair of socks. Ah, ah. Oh, shock. My lord, my dear lord. What happened to you? Who did this? It was you. Did nobody see anything? Where is everybody? You killed your cat. Help! I must find help. There has to be somebody here. There has to be. Her ghost left newspapers. Hello? Can anybody hear me? Where's the maid? I don't understand. I left this on the table. Am I going mad? But this is not the Parisois. It's the London Evening Standard. Many were shocked today upon learning of the passing of Henry Winterburn, Lord Winterburn of Chatham Green, in a tragic automobile accident. As the car in which he was riding rolled up towards the driveway of the Winterburn Manor, the family cat, which had been missing for days, dashed onto the road in front of the vehicle. The chauffeur gave the driving wheel a sharp turn. No, no, no! Henry, Dad, this is absurd! He is here! He is... he is upstairs! I was waiting for him to come home. But he never arrived, because he was here the whole time. Of course, how silly of me. That's it. He must be in his study. He'll know what to do. 
He's in his study. He's upstairs. He'll know. I need to see him. I need to see him now. She is so excited. Oh, wow. It's a disaster. So she did not kill Lord Sox. The cat got killed during a car accident in which her husband and the cat died. She doesn't want to believe this. Shouting doesn't help you. You can't turn back time and you can't make... Henry, are you there? Henry! Henry, you can't make them both alive. Girl, they are dead. Ah, what have they done to you? Why did they hide you from me? I've missed you so much, my love. I've been away for a while, but I'm here now. Henry, I did something terrible. It wasn't his fault. He didn't deserve it. But it hurt so much when you left. And I had such dreams, such terrible dreams. But I found you now. And I'm never going to let them take you away from me again. I just need one more sip of my medicine and then I'll come back for you and take you home. We are going to Paris, my love. I wish there was a portal in this house so that she can walk faster from one place to the other. Take your time. There's an envelope and a cat mask. Another one of those awful letters No, it's an invitation to a masked ball. How delightful! Did Henry send this? Will he be there? 
Oh, I hope so. What a surprise that would be. This must be my mask, then. It's so beautiful. And I was expecting Henry to meet me here, yet I can't seem to find him. But he must be here. Who else could have sent that invitation? <laughs> <laughs> 